voiceless. Um, so that's another reason why he didn't like me. Um, I'm so nervous, y'all. Oh my God. Okay. I don't know where to start because <laughs> I'm so nervous. Uh, I've been wanted to say something. I did. I've been always wanted to say something. I was just so nervous and just scared, you know? I was just scared to say something. The only reason why I'm coming out now is because of um, about that situation going on with Kanye and stuff. I'm like, I don't know. I just feel like it's just just the time to just say something, you know, because what's wrong is wrong. And I just feel like it's just the time to just say something. It's just the time to just say something. Um, like I said before, it's been it's been about five to six years since I heard from Joycelyn. Um, I was around when he started coming around um, when she first met him, and she first told me about it. But I'm just gonna kind of skip like when she first met him. Um, because I wasn't there when she met him, but you know, I was her best friend, so she told me everything. So, um, R. Kelly used to fly my best friend out from my house, um, like one in the morning. He used to send Ubers and stuff to fly her out and stuff. And but the reason why he did that is because, well, fr from her point of view, see, Joycelyn, she she was a singer and she, um, he basically tried to make it seem like it was just all about music. That's what he did. And he definitely convinced her, like, it was all about music. So he was like, you know, let me fly you out. Let me let me fly you out for one night and, you know, so we could get in the studio. And, you know, Joycelyn always been the type of person to just follow her dreams. She always been like that. But Joycelyn is just so sweet. She's just so sweet. And I was like, we was like sweet and spicy. Like Joycelyn, she was just so sweet. I was just always like that spicy. Like, I don't know. Like, and I will always help her and guide her to lead the correct way. That's the thing. That's That was the thing about our relationship. Like, we was just peas in a pot no matter what. Um, He's a flyer out from my house. And, um... She told me things like, okay, for instance, the first night when he flew her out, he was like, you know, it's about music, da da da. She was like, okay. Joyce Lynn, she, the reason why she, he sent the Uber to my house is because she basically didn't really want her parents to know about it because she didn't really feel comfortable. I don't think, I know her parents wouldn't, wouldn't feel comfortable about it, about it. She was just young. Like, we were just both young. And she was just basically wanting to follow her dreams. So, she left and she went the first night. Um, the next morning, he made sure that she made it back home so her parents wouldn't find out. And... He basically, you know, she told me the things that he made her do. Okay. So it wasn't about music, apparently. Um, he made them have, you know, sex and all types of things. And the things that he made them do during sex is just unbelievable um, y'all like unbelievable it's sad it's it's disgusting it's it's just pathetic it's pathetic he knows who i am and i feel like he was probably kind of nervous that i would probably say something or he probably i don't think since i didn't say nothing i waited years he probably just think that i don't know like i never like i never gonna come out and say anything about it but i feel like this is just the right thing to do this ain't for no clout this ain't for none of that so please nobody just please just please do not think anything about that do not um i'm just uh, i'm just it's it's crazy um 
a lot of the things that he made her do, man, y'all, you guys will never, you guys will be surprised. You, The things that he make these young girls do is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Um, I already didn't like him anyways, because when I talked to him on the phone before, he was like really disrespectful and rude towards me. Um, and I think the reason why is because I'm myself, like I didn't go for none of that. I wasn't like real sweet and stuff like that. So he didn't like that. He knew I wasn't like an easy type of person. He knew that, um, Y'all, I'm so sorry. I'm so nervous. He made um, Joycelyn um, have sex with him with a dildo, as in her inserting the dildo in him. Um, the first, I think it was like a couple of days later from when she came from out of town, or Kelly got, um I seen my friend face and her lip and I was like, what is that on your lip, girl? Like, you know, what is that? And she was like, you know, I don't know. She was just like real sick. And she had, I had told her like, you know, go to the clinic, go to the clinic, girl, and get that checked out. And in Georgia state law, if you're under 21, your parents are going to find out you know, they have to find out if it's something really serious. So, at this time, he did give her an STD. He did. A serious one, he did. Um, and her parents eventually had found out or whatever. But, um... I'm so lost, y'all. I'm just... I'm so scared and nervous. I just feel like... This is just, this is just wrong. This is just so wrong. Um, I'm shaking, y'all, as y'all can see. I love my best friend. That was my best friend. That was my best friend, y'all. Can y'all imagine? It feels like she's not here. It feels like she's not here. I haven't heard from her from five to six years. It feels like she doesn't exist. I tried and tried and tried and tried to reach out to her, to talk to her. Um, and I never got any response. Every every chance that I get, I would try to reach out to this girl on her Instagrams and stuff. And I never got a response. I just want her to just come home and talk at least talk to us talk to me talk to me um just talk to me it's so much so many things that i want to that i want to tell her say to her tell her how much i miss her i want to hug her I just really miss her, y'all. I really do. I miss her a lot, and I, I really, really miss her. I'm just, I'm just really emotional about the situation, and I'm so emotional, y'all. And I'm, I'm nervous because I'm finally coming out and I'm saying things and stuff, and. He basically tried to make it seem like he was the, like, he made it seem like she was just the only one, basically. He he made it seem like she was the only one. Um, I remember when I found out she was talking to him, you know, everything, anything that she said to him, he had, she had to say, daddy, like, he make her say daddy every time, like, every sentence, daddy, 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 like, he he was just like really controlling. He manipulated her so bad. Anytime that I see anything on social media saying Joycelyn Savage, Joycelyn Savage, no, that's not her. 
That's not her. I don't care. I know I know my best friend. That that's not her at all. That's all lies. That's all lies. That doesn't sound like Joy. The things that they're saying that she's saying, that's just, that does not sound like her at all. At all. At all. And I feel like when she if she ever find out that I'm speaking out on her, she's going to be I think she's going to be actually happy that I'm actually coming out saying it things saying a lot of things that a lot of people don't know i didn't i didn't say everything yet but i just want you guys to know that this man is a monster a true monster a manipulator That is truly my best friend. My best friend. Like, we tell each other everything. Imagine your best friend just disappearing out of nowhere. Because this man, he made her stop communicating with me. I knew everything. Her next move, what was she doing? He made her stop talking to me. He made her stop talking to me. And I'm not the only one. I'm not the only one that he made, you know, her do that to. Joyce Lynn is really a good person, y'all. This is not her. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Because today is the day and everybody's going to hear my voice. Because what's wrong is wrong. And this girl deserved justice. It's it's sad. It's it's really sad. It really is. But guess what? Joycelyn, if you ever see this message girl, just come out. Just come out and just talk to us. Come home. Please, girl. Please. You know your family loves you. You know I love you. Just come home, please. Please, girl, please. The most, I basically told her, like, you talking to this man with all this money. And if it's just you, this man never gave her a dime, y'all. A dime. A dime. She was like his little puppet. That's what it, that's what it felt like. She was just like his little puppy. He definitely controlled my best friend. And I think that's the reason why he made her stop talking to me. But like I said, he made her stop talking to her family as well. Her family as well. Her parents are like a parents to me. You know, they're, they've are they always been there for me, no matter what. Me and Joy Slim, we were always at each other's house every day, every night. On school nights and everything. We were with each other every day. Every day, y'all. It's sad. It's cruel. It's sad. I just want her to come out and just talk. Just talk, Joy. You know I'm telling the truth. The truth. Just, just talk. I'm gonna speak that I'm gonna speak everything. I'm gonna talk about everything. I'm gonna speak nothing but the truth. Everything is gonna get put on this table tonight. Tonight. I just want her to just come out. Come home, girl. You got this. You're stronger than what you think. You're stronger than what you think, Joycelyn. And you know, you know I've always been there for you, girl. You're stronger than what you think. Come out and speak, girl. Talk. Talk. I hope that this message goes out to you. I hope it does. Hope I hope I wake you up, girl. Talk. Talk to us, please. We need you. It's been so long. 
I the last time I even spoke to her was I think it's been like five or six years that I can remember of. I haven't talked to Joycelyn in a long time. In in so long, y'all. I'm sorry I'm shaking and everything. I'm bouncing up and down, y'all, because I'm so I'm so fed up and I'm hurt. And I know her her family is hurt as well. <laughs> It doesn't even feel like my my best friend is even alive, y'all. We never had arguments. We had debations, but that's what best friends go through. But we never fought (laughs) or anything like that. I just, my friend just needs to come home. And she just needs to speak up. And I'm trying not to get emotional, y'all. I try to keep it positive as possible. I did. And it is fucked up. And it's sad. It's sad. Girl, we grown now. Come out and just say, just talk. You don't have to live your life like this. You don't. You do not have to live your life like this, girl. I'm just trying to stay calm, y'all. I don't want to get mad. I'm just really hurt. It's sad how life is. It sucks. This, But this is not how life's supposed to be. This is not. This is not. This is not. That man is a monster. A monster. A manipulator. He he got my friend so good, y'all. She she won't talk to us. She would not talk to us. And I'm going to try to do everything in my power for her to talk to us. Please, girl, talk to us. Um... That man is a psychopath. (laughs) It's a psychopath. Nobody, nobody, nobody deserves to go through anything like this. Nobody. I don't care who it is. I don't care. I don't care. I don't. (laughs) I'm ready. I'm ready. This could be war. I'm ready. The truth is going to be told tonight. Everything. I'm tired of this. It's been years. It's time for you to come home, girl. You know we love you. You know we love you. This man got you not talking to us. This is sad, y'all. This is sad. Imagine your best friend is disappearing, you know? This is my best friend. Mm mm mm. This man made us, (laughs) he made her stop talking to me, her family, just disappeared. But let me, let me, let me tell y'all something real quick. Let me put something else on the table. Excuse me. All that. All that Illuminati shit is real. I was there. He did, he 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 made my friend sign some papers. He made her stop talking to us. Stop talking to us. He knows I know. He knows that I know. 
He knows. He knows. He's a fucking monster. And my friend needs justice. She needs justice. I am hurt. Her her family is hurt. They are hurt, y'all. This is this is this is for real. This is fucking for real, y'all. This is ridiculous. And the only reason why I'm saying something, y'all, is because of that Kanye West shit came out. He 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 said something, so now I'm going to fucking say something. I feel like right now is just the right time for me to say something. But see, the thing is, I'm I'm so strong, y'all. I'm so strong. I'm like, I'm so strong. I'm I'm like I said before, we was definitely like sweet and spicy. Joycelyn was just the sweet one. I was just the one like always held my guards up. You know, I was just so smart. Like, you know, so he, he just knew he knew he couldn't get to me. Hmm. He just knew. I definitely prepared myself for this. <laughs> I definitely prepared myself, y'all. I prepared myself for this, and I'm ready to just tell it all. I'm ready to just let it all out. That man is fucking crazy. He's a fucking animal. He's a fucking animal. A pedophile, a fucking animal. We were young. Young. We were so young. He's a fucking pedophile and a fucking animal. All he do is just manipulate young girls. But let me let me just say this. So he made it seem like she was she was basically like he made it seem like she was the only one. The only one. He made it seem like she was the only one. It was just only Joycelyn. That's how he made it seem like. And he... He definitely brainwashed her. I'm just so tired of this, y'all. I'm just so tired. I'm just trying to stay calm and be myself as much as I can. I honestly been wanting to do this. I just didn't know how to come out and say anything. I didn't know. I was scared. I, I didn't know how to say anything about it. I didn't. But he definitely made it seem like he basically, he ain't no basically, but he really did make it seem like it was just her. It was just her. The things that he make these young girls do. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Tonight is the night. Tonight is the night, y'all. Joycelyn, girl, you need to come out. You, you smarter than this, girl. You gonna have to come out and say something. <laughs> say something. It's been years. That's why I'm coming out to say something. I'm tired of this. I'm tired. I have beautiful children. You didn't even meet yet, friend. I have kids now. You didn't meet them yet. You didn't meet him yet, girl. He made my friend stop talking to me. He made her stop talking to her family. He, oh my goodness, y'all. He made her 
have sex with different women. <laughs> he made her do so much shit. Joyson, please come home, girl. I'm going to speak my mind. Tonight is the night, and I'm going to say everything I can and nothing but the truth. Nothing but the truth, and you know that I know the truth, girl. I'm hoping, girl. I'm, I'm hoping that this this video just, oh, my God. You just come out, girl. Just say something. Just say something. Come out and and talk to us. Please. Talk to us, girl. Come out and talk to us. He was sending Ubers to my house. Like, what is that? Like, one in the morning, he'll send an Uber to my house. He did it for, like, a couple of nights. And he'll fly her out. And when she, when she make it there to the studio, he'll make it seem like it was just only her. And it'll just be, like, her and, like, a whole bunch of men there or whatever. These are the, the words that she told me. Um... And he made her have sex with him. And he made her do things while they while they were having sex, he made her do things that she'd never done before. Never. Never done before. He gave her STDs. He made her have sex with other women. My friend was controlled when she left to go to, to to college. I'm assuming that he had a house around there somewhere, probably like 10, 15 minutes away from the college that she went to. That was the last time that I talked to Joycelyn. That was the last time that I talked to her. Um, trying to get it together y'all so just bear with me I'm just so nervous y'all and I'm just so speechless because it's so many things that I'm gonna say I am gonna say y'all just just bear with me please Cause it's not easy it's not and i haven't heard from her in so many years so many years so many years um i was around when the people called her phone and they knew her name where she was at and everything and i was around when he made her sign papers and I, I didn't know exactly what the papers were for but he just basically convinced her to sign papers um it's so much stuff y'all it's so much stuff he didn't like me anyways that man did not like me for shit at all. At all. Um, I guess because I'm smart, smart. He didn't. He didn't like that about me. He did not at all. He knew that he couldn't manipulate me. He knew that. Um. He was 
she definitely was controlled and she still is controlled and everything y'all see on Jerusalem, I mean on social media that is not her that is not her saying these things that is not all these things are made up I, I know my best friend that's not her mm -mm. nope I no I know her I know her and today is the day. Tonight is the night, I should say. Mm -mm. I remember every time that she had talked to him, he made her, like, go in a private room. He used to always get mad at her, like, when she'll, like, if I'm around, he'll make sure she go in the next room. Um, He'll get mad, like, if she talked to me on the phone. While I'm right there, he he used to he used to always get mad and stuff like that. Like he used to get so mad. Like I I don't I didn't give a fuck about him. He didn't mean shit to me. No, but he's always he he's always get mad. He's always get so angry and mad and mad and mad and mad. Um. And he's always try to be real sneaky about it because he did not want her parents to find out nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. I feel like no matter what, no matter how much she wants to come out and speak, she can't. Which is really fucked up. She wants to say something to us. She do. But she can't. So anything, like I said before, anything you guys see on social media saying that Joycelyn Savage said anything is not true. It's not true at all. That shit is not true. That's not her talking. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. And I'm just coming out saying these things right now because all this, all this, all these things that's going on on social media. I feel like right now is just the right time to say something, to say something. And that's that's the reason why I'm coming out saying things. That's the reason why. But yeah, her her parents are like parents to me. They're 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 my parents as well. They, I was at, we was with each other every day, every single day, every single day, every single day. Just bear with me, please, y'all. Please, I'm I'm getting more. You know. I could, I'm starting to be able to speak more than how I just was like a couple of minutes ago. He is a manipulator. He is a monster. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to, I'm going to say anything that I can remember. Anything that I can remember. Uh, okay. Okay. So, she when she met R. Kelly, she basically kept in contact with him. And I believe the reason why she had got his contact information is because of R. Kelly's nephew. I'm not sure what his name is, but he basically tried to keep Joycelyn and R. Kelly connected. Like, he was trying to make it seem like it was about money. Um, like I said before, the first night that he flew Joyce out, he, you know, jo I got a call from Joy before any of this. She called me. She was like, you know, Re, I'm about to, you know, just come over to your house. I'm going to just tell my parents that I'm just going to come over to your house or whatever. And, um, because R. Kelly, he wants to fly me out and I'm going to tell my parents that, you know, that I'm standing out at your house. And you know, that was my best friend. You know how you is when you young. Um, and when the first night, he sent an Uber. 
he'll always send it for some reason, like 1 a.m. Like, it'll be just 1 a.m. They'll be parked outside my house. So, he'll, she'll go out, leave at like 1 o'clock in the morning. He'll fly her out. And then, boom, she'll come back like the next morning. She'll be back, you know, in Atlanta probably about, probably about like 10 a.m. or something like that. Um... When she came, you know, I was like, how was it? You know, because I did tell her to text me when she made it. As That's just me being the best good friend. But when I was out there, I noticed that she wasn't really keeping me updated or anything like that. Um, when she was, uh, when she came back, I asked her, you know, how was it? She was like, it was, it was okay. Um, she was like, they were always in the studio. Her, him, her a couple of other guys friends that he had there or whatever you know and she said that she did have sex with him and she said it was like really weird and uncomfortable and i was like you know girl like what you, what do you mean what do you, what what do you mean you know she was just like you know he made me do strange things when i was having sex with him she told me that she didn't even want to have sex with the man but it happened but she didn't she didn't want to she didn't um and and then I think it was like the probably like a couple of days later, he did the same thing. Boom, a a flight well, a Uber comes to my house like one in the morning, he sent her out again. And he um when she came back, um she she had of course a S T D or whatever. She had something on her lip and I had to tell her to go get tested. And um when she had went to go when she had went to go get tested or whatever you know in georgia law if you're under 21 your parents are going to find out when her parents and eventually found out okay they end up taking drugs on the phone and then boom that's how her parents found out about you know the r kelly situation and stuff like that um after that he had um you know, he went like months and months without talking to Joycelyn because, you know, by her parents being parents, they definitely put her on punishment. She couldn't go nowhere. She, you know, I, know I think R. Kelly tried to like pay her parents to not say anything, but her parents wasn't going for that. No, he, they was like, nope, you know what? You, you're going to go down. Months later, Joycelyn eventually had got her phone back. She reached out to R. Kelly again. Okay? She reached out to him again. And this time, she really made sure... She really made sure um, that he... She just made sure that her parents definitely didn't find out this time. But I knew, like, the second time when she, she started back talking to him. Okay, I, I I knew, and I remember when she was like talking to him on the phone, texting. He was like really controlling her. He basically was trying to like it was just it was just really weird because every sentence he always made her say "daddy" or you know every sentence when she called every time she replied to the census it was just daddy or whatever and then after that um after that he just y'all oh my god just bear with me please i'm so nervous i'm so nervous y'all just so nervous um, I was like, girl, you you know, you never got no money from this man. He's a millionaire. He got all this money, billionaire, whatever. And you never got anything from this man? Nothing. Nothing. And she was just like, you know, no, I never did. And she asked him for some money. He never gave her anything. I don't re Not that I remember of. He never gave her any money or any. No, I'm not reading a script. What the hell do I look like reading a script? <laughs> what the fuck? 
Are are you guys serious? <laughs> like I'm I'm looking away because my auntie just walked in the kitchen. No, I'm not reading a script. It's 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 not easy to talk about. It's hard. It's hard, and I'm trying my best to to even. Like, I'm really coming out, risking everything to say something about her. Like, this stuff is... Notifications is popping up. No, I'm not reading the script. I'm not. This is not fake. This is for real. This is for real. This is serious. This is not a joke. This is facts. Facts. And here, I'm just letting you guys know the truth. I'm just really trying to stay positive and stay positive about the situation. Like, you guys don't know how it feels unless you lost a best friend, lost some, a loved one that's, that's close to you. And I feel like any anybody that's, that's a monster, anybody in general that been through this, do not deserve to go through anything like this ever. These these women they really need justice. They really do. They really do. They they're young and then they are, they get manipulated and physically and mentally they get. He definitely damaged her. He definitely did, and she is not herself. I don't need no negativity, no negative comments. But until then, I'm going to ignore the comments. I'm just going to ignore the comments. Okay. We love you, girl. We love you, Joycelyn. We love you. We love you, girl. I could just name so many good memories of us. Girl, you was my best friend, girl. Where you at? Come out and talk to us. We need you. We do. You're 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 a wonderful woman, girl. This is not you. This is not you. You get you're getting forced to 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 do these things and say these things, girl. But I know you wanna come home. I know you wanna come out and, and reach out and talk to your family, girl. I know this, like, I know this. I know this, girl. Girl, we used to do so much, so many things together. We used to do so many things together, girl. From shopping to cooking together, girl. We used to go everywhere. Everywhere, girl. We were at each other's house every night, every day, girl. On school nights and everything. I know you remember that. I know you remember that. Even on holidays, girl. We used to be at each other's house. Christmas, girl. So many memories we got. Remember, remember when I start doing. I remember when I first started doing hair. I used to always practice on her head. Like I've always been into doing hair, but I used to always practice on her hair, and she used to just let me. And I used to do her hair all the time, all the time, from her hair to her sister hair, everybody here, girl. Girl, we girl, we miss you, girl. We miss you. Just come home. Just come home, girl. Jalen, girl, I miss you too, sis. I miss you too. I'm gonna come see you soon. Family, friends, I miss y'all. Y'all, you guys are my family. I miss all y'all. Joycelyn, girl, you need to just come out. And I pray. I just pray, girl, you just come out and talk to us, girl. Just talk. Just talk to us. 
Just talk to us. We love you. We miss you. We miss you, girl. We miss you. We miss you, girl. We do. And you need justice. And you need to come out and tell the truth. You need to come out and tell the truth. Can y'all please stop counting dumb stuff? Because at this point, you guys will be getting blocked. I just need all positive energy. All positive energy. All positive energy. Joycelyn, girl, come out and speak. Come out and speak. We miss you, girl. We miss you. Come out and speak. Come out and speak, honey. That man is a monster. He's a fuck. He's... He's a, he is evil. He's a monster. He is a fucking monster. And it, it ain't no lie. So, you're about to get blocked. Because, no, I ain't got time for that. <laughs> I don't have time. You are blocked. Thank you very much. He's definitely blocked. Whoever that is. Shit. Nobody got time for that. Family and friends. If y'all know who Joycelyn is. Please come out and speak now. This girl needs justice. This girl needs justice. Hey, Tim. Hey, Dad. How are you? How are you, Dad? Come out and speak. Speak, everybody. Speak, speak, speak. Come home, Joycelyn. Come home. Please, y'all. Please. Joycelyn, please come home. Speak, y'all. Speak. I'm just really, really nervous, y'all. I'm so sorry. I'm just, I'm trying my hardest. I'm just really, really nervous. But my friend, all that stuff that y'all seeing on social media is not her. Not her. Mm -mm. That's somebody else. It's not her. It's not Joycelyn Savage. Not the Joycelyn Savage I know. And that's not her. I haven't heard from this girl in like five, six years now. He made these girls. I know so much. He he made these girls. Do so many things with each other. He make them dress up in tutus. He made my friend shave her hair off bald. He made her do so many things. He make these women sit in rooms and they have to ask to go to the bathroom. They have to ask to eat. It's more than her. It's, it's more than her in the households. <laughs> more than more than her. He made these women get they. They cleavage done. They can't show them. But he made them get them done. He made them do so much shit, y'all. Y'all don't even have a clue. He, he's a fucking monster. He's a fucking monster. It's just really, like, kind of hard to think about literally everything everything because it's been like freaking five six years it's but it's just so many so much stuff that he done to these young women 
It's so many things, y'all. So many things. It's just fucked up how the industry is and how everything is because you really cannot communicate with your family members. He made her do he made her sign these papers or where whatever the case is. He made her do these things and she can't even contact us. She can't even contact her family. He trained her to not say anything to us. He trained her like if I was to walk past Joycelyn right now, she won't say nothing to me because he made her did do these things. He made her, he got that girl so good. She's manipulated so good. So anytime that y'all see anything on social media saying that Joycelyn said this and that, no, she did not say that. She did not. She did not. Because I know the type of person she is, and she's really a kind-hearted person. She's really a kind-hearted person. I hope R. Kelly rot in hell. I do. I do. He's a fucking monster. A fucking monster. And he know damn well he can't get to me. He know that. He knew he couldn't. Because if he, if he thought that, he would have tried to aim for me too. And he knew damn well that shit wasn't going to happen. Nope. Joycelyn girl. Joyce and girl, speak up. I don't give a fuck. I'm happy that he's locked up. I am. I am happy that he's locked up. But at the same time, at the same time, Joycelyn, I want, I want Joycelyn's. What I'm trying to say is I want Joycelyn to come out and speak. This is all we want. We don't here for clout. We're not here for none of that stuff. We just want justice for her. We want her to come out and speak. This is this is coming from a loved one. I am I am speaking. I am, that was my best friend. Yeah, that was my best friend. Girl, come out and talk to us, please. Come out and talk to us. I hope this video is the key for her to open up more. Because she sees that I'm reaching out. And I I try to inbox her. You know, DM her and stuff like that. Try my hardest to reach out to her. And I never got a response. But I've been quiet all them years. So for me to even go live and say anything. Hopefully this come, this this will basically help her to wake up. You know, I'm I'm sure she's scared, but girl, you got to come out, girl, and open up and speak, girl. Talk to us. Let us know that you're okay. Let us know that you're okay. And I'm sure she don't. I'm sure she don't. <laughs> have a phone she can't even communicate with us she can't communicate with no damn body it's like she just hiding like he has her like and it's just so fucked up because all them other women got away and she is she's the only one i believe so that i i know of that's still there but she's getting controlled She's manipulated. That's why she's still there. She's not there for, like, because she wants to. No, she don't want to. He trained her to be aggressive like that. He trained her to ignore her family. And she don't have, she, if y'all knew Joy in the beginning, before all this, she used to stay on her Instagram. She was a good promote. Like, she always promoted her business, always promoted her music, everything. This is not her. What? This is not her. And no, this, this, she didn't go ghost. You know, like when everything started coming out, she, when he had got her before all this stuff, like went out, like came out, came out. She instantly stopped being on her Instagram. When she was, you know, sneaking off talking to him and stuff, she was she was on her Instagram. But when she disappeared, he made her stop getting on her social media. 
she is definitely manipulated. Definitely a manipulate, and she needs justice. She needs justice, and I hope and I pray to God that 